This is a I made it in your face like hibachi stoves. Are you saying stores? Stoves. Stoves. I made it in your face like hibachi stoves. Mm. I was like, that's a bar. <laughs> Bong in so long. We got pomodos for the day. We're gonna get lit. And I got my pomodos. Gonna and get lit. Made a drink that tastes so good. To give them the recipe. Water. <laughs> water. I put water. Regular water. Yeah. Wow. I put water. The Bacardi rum. I don't know which rum it is. It was the, the gold. brown bottle. It was the oh, gold. okay. Bacardi gold. And then I stole some. <laughs> Um, blood orange and mango syrup, and I did peach syrup as well. So it's giving tropical. Oh, it tastes good. Yeah. What appetizers we got? So Not you get them. The shoot. Don't talk about me. <laughs> that was my. That's my meal. Oh, that's the. Okay. Yeah. I got Gator Bites. Gator Bites is appetizers. We're, we'll open it up. Okay. Okay. And what else? What else? Crawfish pies. <laughs> okay. And your your meal is oh my meal is stuffed shrimp and broccoli. I was like I'll be a little healthy, you know. And I got the ginger salmon. Okay, okay. And her food looks so good. But don't open your food and we um. Cause I want to see what it look like. Bitch. I don't know what it look like. Why is just so hard to open? Oh, all right. Oh, I forgot it came with shrimp. Mm, I love spinach. Oh my god. Hmm. If you're from New Orleans, it tastes like a crugator. That's literally what it tastes like, crugator. Sauce me. And bread, because I want some. We've been trying to stay away from bread, but a little bread ain't gonna kill me. Crawfish pies. And it comes with like a Cajun coleslaw. But these pies are basically like, um, it has crawfish. They used to come with andouille sauces, but now they don't. And then it comes with an aioli sauce. Why did they give you this big ass container, container for like Girl, I don't know. But three yeah. gator bites? Gator bites. So gator bites, they also come with potato sticks. And when I tell you they're bites, they're bites. Not nuggets, but bites. Yeah, and then it comes with a Creole Cajun butter. Bust it. I don't never use that stuff. Really? Give me that. Let me see what it tastes like. What the <laughs> Yeah, that's the <laughs> You know what's crazy? Her baby also gets it from her. Cause Kaylee, she's like, I ain't sharing shit. <laughs> I ain't sharing with you. I be sharing. You can have some because I want some of your crawfish pie. What? I hate her. <laughs> Here, let me get a knife. Mm. Are they good? What is in the crawfish pie? Spinach, crawfish. Oh, this is a gourmet crawfish pie. Mm -hmm. This ain't like the corner so crawfish pies. Mm-mm. Mm. It also has, oh, this is good. A couple different cheeses inside. This is good. Like Monterey, cheddar. It'll come with a sauce. It's on it. It should they should put it on the side, but they put it on it. Hmm. It's like a chipotle aioli. It's good, y'all. Mm-hmm. I wish it was warm. It's spicy. It's pretty good. I like the rubbish spice. We eating this shit and not even talking, y'all. That's so sad. This is a mukbang, okay? Mm-hmm. Mm. Today's video. Is giving black people ish. We finna start it out. Cause why Chris Rock acting crazy? It took him a whole year, a whole year to try to say something back or try to like throw shade. <clears throat> like don't do too much, bro. I feel like points were made in his stand up, but it's kind of like you watched it. I saw the clips of him talking about uh, your wife slept with your her son's best friend and. She hurt you more than I could have ever hurt you, but you slapped me because you felt like you could beat me, all that other stuff, blah, blah, blah. I just feel like that's so, like, it's unneeded now. It was kind of corny. I mean, I know he had to address it, and this yeah. is his comedy special, but 
He could have just made a joke. He had to go. He all didn't need to do psycho it. Psycho white go up in there like. No, I feel like he makes comedy for white people. No, Chris Rock is funny. He mm -hmm. has. His, he is. He has. No, his, he's, com he's like makes commentary about like life. <clears throat> and I think he's kind of funny for certain things, but I just felt like it was too that it wasn't a joke. It was no punchline behind that joke. It was just like. I'm gonna put it out there. Right. Like, you don't even have to just say anymore. We know you got slapped. <laughs> we know you got slapped. It would've been better if you just would have slapped mm -hmm. his ass back. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, they should've been fighting, but he knew not to fight in front of white people. that. You're not about to get slapped in front of white people either. Mm -hmm. He should've just slapped Will Smith back, and it would've been a wrap. And we would've been talking about it, laughing on both sides, not just laughing at Chris Rock, or laughing at Will Smith for doing that shit, but. This is bussing. Bussing. Hmm. Now me drinking out of both straws. One was definitely for you. Mm -hmm. I was so shocked. <laughs> not you. Wait. Not her still thinking about it. <laughs> it's like, I was like, it's just real. I think everybody in the audience I like, thought it was a joke. joke? <laughs> I, thought it, I thought it was like a part of the skit, you know? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh, I was like, oh shit. Chris Rock was like, whoa, they getting serious in here. But yeah, I don't, I don't think it was worth it. Like, you should have made a joke about it. If you could have made a joke about it, it would have been funny. But you just, yeah. How do you feel about Chris Brown? I like his music. That's as far as it goes for me. I don't go looking for his music. If it plays, it plays. I got a playlist, you know? Right. But I'm not like a, ooh, his new album came out, let me go listen to it. Whatever right. is hot and popping at the time, I listen to it. I used to be a, let me go listen to his album yeah. type of person, but now I'm just like, you know. I just cool. feel bad. Because one, Are you going to get some of these Gator Bites? Yeah. Okay, um, I'm going to save you some. Okay. Back in the day, what him and Rihanna went through, that was pretty crappy. Right? <clears throat> he was 17. But mind you, him and Karuchi, their whole ordeal, that was kind of scary. Because it's given, you're still on the crazy side, Chris Brown. He's had multiple ordeals. Exactly. And it's like, for people to hold it against him, I could see why they would do it. Right? But it's like, I don't, I don't dislike him so much. Like... Like I said, I, I, I like his music, mm -hmm. and I'll listen to it. I won't yeah. be like, no, turn the shit off, but I'm not like a... And you know what? I honestly want to go to his concert since I've been to his concert. But I don't know. I'm not a, I'm not a stan. Put it like that. He's not giving If he stopped making music, I won't be mad. He's not giving a Tory Lanez for me. But a lot of people really dislike him. They dislike him because they feel like he has a certain... Um, track record that they mm -hmm. feel like is appro isn't appropriate for him to still be famous and making music. Especially with like black women feeling like we should stop supporting certain black men who have shown that they don't give a fuck about But they them. only do that for people who they want to. Like, cause there's so many other people who are 10 times worse than Chris Brown, but they still support those other people. What people? That's black? Yeah. Like R. Kelly for years, he was being. But I feel like no, I feel like the people who support R. Kelly are the same type of people who not support Chris Brown, but look past all that shit. Like I feel like they're in the same group. No, seriously, I feel like they're in the same group. I don't want to be in that group. I still like Chris Brown, but no, I'm saying that's the same people who I can I can say Chris Brown done fucked up shit. He seemed like he may be doing some fucked up shit still, and yeah. still say I can listen to his music and get past that shit. Yeah. Like. I'm not out here buying albums and yeah. stuff like that. I'm not supporting yeah. him that way, but if I hear his music on the radio, I might have a playlist that I listen to with him in it. I'm not about to sit there and change. But I'm not putting like money in his pocket, like going to his concerts and stuff mm -hmm. like that. Like, you know what I'm saying? I'm not, I'm not over the... Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, I get you. But the T is the fact that Chris Brown did music with Chloe, and everybody's saying that her target audience is... Not being who is Chloe's target audience? That's we we really don't know because uh, she's like the most unsexiest person <laughs> on the planet. 
Like her sex appeal is giving Tia Mari. It's giving what? Angela Simmons. What? It's bad. <laughs> like I shouldn't have to look at an artist and be cringing, you know? No, I think I she. I think she's sexy. Cody. I just think she is doing, doing it on too purpose. Much. I, I feel don't like know. she took it back a little bit. She's still sexy. She's beautiful, fine. I think she's sexy. I think she just do too much. Now yeah. she making like generic ass songs. And I feel like that's really why people can't get with it. Cause it's like, we liked you cause you didn't make that generic. But I shit. think it's because they had to have a sound because they were together, you know? So, so I feel, feel like, like that wasn't really her I sound. I feel like that wasn't her sound. Was Actually, sound. I like her sound. You I know, like her. I think it's cool. I think the songs she put out are not memorable. I think they're just a cool little song. And I feel like when she came out, they were both very <laughs> memorable cause they were different. Hmm. Beautiful black girls with dreadlocks who can play instruments, who can sing their face off, who can do those type of songs, yeah. but also do neo soul and do alternative. Like you know, they were different. They had their own lane, yeah. and now it's like you're going to that mainstream. Yeah, not even mainstream, but just predictable route. Yeah. And every song is about sex. <laughs> like every she song is about it. her. She like finally put it out there. I don't know. I think it's just people like. Is this you or is this you trying to act like Beyonce? Yeah. Like, cause everybody's saying she's trying to follow Beyonce's footsteps. I got my stuff shrimp. Look at this. Busted. <laughs> this is the type of shit she do all the time. <laughs> yeah. But um, yeah, I don't know. But yeah, everybody's kind of mad at. Chloe for doing music with him. He been kind of biting back out in the public, but there's only so much you can do. Like the shit happened, it's gonna follow you around for the rest of your life. For the rest of your life. So Chris Brown, stop addressing it. Just keep doing you. Yeah. Don't only, keep addressing it. Don't there's keep really saying. nothing that you could do. I was a child when I did some all that. When we have other cases, when you were an adult, and it's you like still you still low key toxic, but just do you? Do you? Yeah. I don't know. The fact that Karuchi was able to get a permanent. It's not like you said coochie. <laughs> <laughs> it's not like you said the fact the that, that Karuchi can get a permanent restraining order, that's scary because they don't even hand those out. Probably because they're like, we saw what you did to, to Rihanna as a celebrity mm -hmm. and her being a celebrity. It's like celebrities move a certain way. They and do. people be being abused for years, you wouldn't know because they celebrities move a certain way. The fact that you got caught. And you did this to another celebrity tells me you have no boundaries. Like you were still being crazy. You don't give yeah. We're gonna protect Karuchi, that's what they say. Basically. And it's interesting because they don't really have beef anymore. Like Rihanna and Chris Brown. Mm -hmm. She just she don't F with him. She got a whole family. You know. But let's talk about uh Tommy and Natalie. <laughs> They've been going crazy for like months. Like arguing and shit. I'm like, who? I thought you were talking about Tommy from uh, Power. Be for real. <clears throat> Be for real. Tommy and Natalie. First of all, what the f was that? The fight. The fight in general. Tommy. She's she was on drugs. I'm convinced. She keeps saying she's not on drugs. At this point, girl, you need to just come out and say you on drugs. I ain't no way you acting this crazy. People mm -hmm. saying Tommy got paid to lose the fight, and I think that's bullshit. I don't as think much as bullshit. she run him. And no, that's bullshit. If you gonna do some shit like that, as much as you run your mouth, and I always said, I think Tommy just crazy. Just cause you crazy don't mean you can, you fight. can fight. You just crazy. I know mm -hmm. a lot of people who will not back down from a fight, ain't scared to start a fight, but will get their ass whipped every time, and they don't give a fuck, cause they're not scared. But if you the type of person who always like- But I could see her doing that only because she's not, she's not a celebrity celebrity. I can't see her doing that because you always acting like you gonna fuck a bitch up every time on site. Yeah. Why would you do that for Natalie Nunn? Or if you did do it, I'd be like, uh, her head finna be bigger than what it is. Natalie, huh? Natalie gonna feel like she gonna fight any bitch. <laughs> mm. But I was surprised that she took it as serious as she did. Yeah, she was taking it serious because she thought Natalie, I mean, Tommy was up. Yeah. He was like, I gotta train for this. Cause Tommy gonna come out. Girl, I just thought that Crackhead and Tommy was gonna come out. You know, Crackheads be having strength, okay? And it's like, every fight that I've seen Tommy in, she's always been kind of crazy. I've never really seen her in a fight. Mm. 
It's always like loving like hip hop. Fifty million security around, and somebody swing, oh, and true. nobody. You know what I'm saying? Like I've never seen her in a fight, like, fight, fight, fight. I've been trying to get into Real Housewives of Potomac, like watch it from the beginning, and I have. But the reunion just dropped, and girl, I seen clips. Why was Candace man yelling at uh? Yelling at Giselle. Raise your hand Honestly, so like, much was going on. No, Giselle. <clears throat> honestly, keep Giselle on the show. Make Robin ass go. If, if I was a producer, I would give her to Robin because she's nothing but a psychic anyway. And after she pulled that stunt with not talking about her issues in her relationship and waiting until she could do it on her own little mm -hmm. show, give really? her to Robin and see how fast Giselle go to kissing everybody ass to try to be their friends. Yeah. Just watch how fast. That's crazy though. Break up the green eyed bandits and let's just that'll that'll give Not us a show. Not the green eyed bandits. That's what they call them, the green eyed bandits. No, that's so funny. Break <laughs> them up, <laughs> and then we'll have some good TV. Cause I'm sick of them. Mm mm. Cause I don't know. They do too much. They say every season, and this is true. Giselle gets up there and she has some tea on somebody's husband that she blows out of proportion. And that's her whole storyline for the whole season about how somebody's husband did something to send other or wants her and send other. And then when they get to the reunion- Not wants her. Yes, and when they get to, to the reunion and play back everything, it's like, oh, Giselle blew it out of proportion again and tried to make a storyline of something yeah. that she could have contacted them outside of the TV show before the TV started so rolling and the show started rolling. She does that every year. Mm -mm. I'm sick of her. I think everybody is. But I don't mind her being on the show because T. Robin don't have anything to talk about. Her life's boring. Giselle gonna give you the drama, the shade, and then at the end, when it's all said and done, she's gonna back away from it and be like, oh, my bad. Like, my hands are clean. <laughs> No, she's going to be like, oh, my bad. Maybe I did blow out a proportion or some shit like that. I could deal with that. Robin has nothing So basically, going she tries to apologize for everything. Yeah, or she'll be like, once the shit is caught. And, and she can give, she will give it and she will take it. Because mm -hmm. she will not sit there and try to go back and forth with you if you put her in her place. She will let you put her in her place. No. <laughs> and just sit there and look confused. So I feel like Giselle is good TV, but Robin can just go because at this point, we don't need her. Okay. And if we give her the ride, we're going to see who Giselle going to be kissing ass. I, I say she's going to be kissing Karen ass. Watch. Karen or Ashley, they said. They said. <laughs> this is always they said. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. They said that when Nikki and Megan went on that live after they did their song together, and Megan was trying to get Nikki to drive the boat, Nikki Minaj said that she had just told Megan that she was expecting, and she was like, why is this bitch trying to get me to drink if I just told her I'm pregnant, you know? So she felt some type of way. And I'm, my, my guess is they haven't really spoken to each other since then. I read it. And it's just something fuel for Nikki. Like, I feel like it's just fuel for Nikki to have another bar to, like, rap about another woman and send other. And I feel like she like why are you rapping stuff. about Megan? Like, be for real. Because I feel like Nikki wants... And I feel like Megan is the person's perfect rap beef for her because I feel like Megan can write some bars back and spit back at her. And I think Nikki really wants a rap beef where she could actually rap with a bitch and not just go off on Twitter with a bitch like her. But my thing is, Megan is not the type to be nasty, if that makes sense. She isn't. That's why she's going to keep it cute and give her a couple bars in the song. And I think that's what Nikki's doing. She's nasty with Cardi. She's nasty. In and general. Cardi's nasty with her. And we understand why. But Nikki is like, oh, I'm going to get my rap beef on with Megan because Megan going to rap back. And Megan might say okay. a bar too, you know? I'm here for it. Maybe. Nice. I'm here for it. Mmm. Michael B. Jordan and Laurel. I really thought, like... It wasn't, it wasn't a big deal. He might not have had to say what he had to say. Cause basically on the red carpet, um, L'Oreal, is her name L'Oreal or L'Oreal? It's either L'Oreal or L'Oreal, one or two. We're gonna call it L'Oreal. I feel like that sounds better. L'Oreal, She was in, <laughs> I don't know where that's from. Dream girls. girls. I've never seen it. Morel loves Jimmy. Morel loves Jimmy. <laughs> I, 
the fact that you've never seen Dream Girls, I can't wait to watch it with you. I have just never seen it. Okay. Um, but basically, Gloria was interviewing Michael B. Jordan, and Michael B. Jordan was like, you interview me mm -hmm. type shit, but what happened was you bullied me. She was like, man, you go way back to third. Yeah, she did it. Yes. <laughs> I didn't even, I couldn't even watch it. I just saw like the. She was like, we go back to whatever, whatever. High school. He was like, yeah, you, you call me corny, right? <laughs> I would have said it too. The fuck? I would have said it. Everybody was saying he shouldn't have said it. She said, you definitely misquoted it. Definitely misquoted <laughs> But I understand him saying that because it's like, you could just say we went to the same high school. You had to say we go way back like we friends. I'm like, we friends, bitch, you bullied me. But right. that just goes to show. That wasn't no bullying. I'm just saying. No. People never that. forget People never forget what you tell them. Just saying. Calling somebody corny is not bullying to me. Because I feel like Loki and Michael B. Jordan probably was corny in high school. We all had If someone's moments. talking about you, it's not nice. It's either. not nice, but I'm not bullying you. Bullying is like making your life hell, constantly going at you. If I'm like, oh, that, corny. What if that wasn't something he wanted to hear? It's a lot of shit you don't want to hear. That don't mean it's bullying. Dreams. I don't think it's bullying. I if think you ain't got nothing nice to say, don't say it. And maybe it wasn't I bullying. I know your ass ain't talking. Maybe it wasn't bullying. I know. <laughs> then you a big ass bully there. <laughs> the shit you be saying about men, she would have been the one. He would have been like, you called me corny because her ass definitely be talking about him. Not to their face. And guess where we going this summer? Guess where we going? Mm, mm, mm. Beyonce. Mm, mm. Beyonce. Mm, 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 mm. <laughs> we got tickets to her tour. In the shop. tour. Mm. I love you still want to go to New Orleans because so she's closing in New Orleans, but the shot going to be exclusive. I'm excited. Me too. And we got I decent just know, tickets too. I just know it's gonna be the biggest party club experience. And the That's girls the and the guys are gonna be out there. And I can't mm -hmm. wait to see with I feel like I can't come the not queens correct. are gonna be there. Like I need to come dress yes. to impress. The queens are gonna be there and I can't wait to see what they're gonna wear. Ooh, let's go as drag queens. No. <laughs> <laughs> I, I want to. I want to dress cute. I want to dress cute for sure. You don't think drag queens dress cute? I mean, they do, but I don't want to be like you don't in be drag over makeup. the time. I don't want to be in drag makeup. <clears throat> um, there are drag queens that look like you. That I know, having that. But I'm saying, like, when I think of drag queens, I'ma go out okay. over the top. Yeah. yeah. But I can't wait to see what they're gonna be wearing. I can't wait to see them getting their life. I can't mm -hmm. wait to see them doing all the, you know. <laughs> The, the the death drops and the, I can't wait to see everything. I think I'm gonna be I'm paying excited. attention to the people around me more than Beyonce low key because nah. no, I feel like the people around me are gonna be going crazy. I'm gonna get some footage. I'm so excited for Beyonce. I haven't what been to Beyonce. What song you wait for? What's the one song from the Renaissance album you can't wait for? Heat it, heat it, heat it. Girl, don't look at me like that. Really? The end? Well, because the end of heated, it's gonna go crazy. We are not birthday twins, but damn near. But we're zodiac sisters. So. We are not zodiac sisters. I'm a Virgo. I'm an Aquarius, and I'm talking about Beyonce, bitch, not you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> In two ways. <laughs> In two ways. In two ways. I want to hear Virgo's groove so bad. Oh yeah. yeah. But I do like Cuff It. If she played a remix, I'm gonna be like, yeah. I can't wait for the end to heat it and bring my fan. I'm getting lit. So I'm gonna be click at the end of that song. I'm excited. Yeah, it'll be fun. I'm gonna get I'm about to be Airbnb awesome. or hotel. Farrah Fawcett, you 70s should. disco glam, Ooh. twiggy eyelashes. No, I want like I want to look like Beyonce with her like highlighted hair, but like big the big hair, like the yeah. the deja vu. Yeah, B B T deja vu. Yeah. I thought about wearing an outfit like that, but then I was like, I'm probably gonna be doing too much. I want to look for a cute little jumpsuit, a bedazzled like Ooh. rhinestone jumpsuit nude with the maybe some nice furry sleeves. Well, I'm just like, yeah. <laughs> some I don't feather, know what I want to look like. Feather hair. Lines. 
or maybe a long share wig. I don't know. I kind of want to do check up on it on my body and then hair. <laughs> <laughs> That's kind of what I'm looking for. I'm kind of thinking like matching set, but like um, pink, pink corn. We're trying to be pink, girl. Yeah. And I think makeup Mini wise, skirt. I want to definitely have some nice. Maybe like a pink or a pretty shimmery pink. Not pink, but what's the color? Not magenta, but it's like pink purple. Mom? No, it's like a pink purple. Rihanna has like a... Blush? Highlight? Not a blush, a highlight. And it's like a shimmery pink purple color. Hmm. I want that. I want that. Okay. We have time to figure this out. Yeah. Whole time, watch I show up. I'm looking completely opposite of what I just said. Like, I don't like it. <laughs> um, okay. Have you seen the fact that Bernice is Bernice damn near 50, y'all. She like 46, I think. But she's still one of the baddest old bitches I've ever seen. But her boyfriend is 26. Everybody's been kind of like, bitch, you're damn near pedophiling or grooming. I don't think that's pedophile, because I feel like you're old enough. No, not even that you're old enough, but low-key, like, even since I've been out here, I don't get approached by people my age. I get approached by people that's, like, 24, 25. But like, we do look younger, too. Them young boys be on them grown woman ass, okay? I'm pretty sure she wasn't trying to get him. He was trying to get her. I think so. But I'm just surprised that she even let it go that it far. It be like that, girl. You be like, little boy, get out of my face, boy. <laughs> but and she be like, it, boy. They be on some grown man yeah. shit. The little boys, the younger mm -hmm. guys, not little boys, but the younger guys be on some grown yeah. man shit. Meanwhile, the men your age are on some little boy shit. <laughs> I was actually just kind of shocked because I don't know. I think his name. She's a little cougar. It's like Jalen. Jalen. Is he a basketball player? I don't know. I think it's football. Mm. Maybe shit. I'm probably lying, but speaking of dating, everyone keeps saying that Twenty One Savage is Lotto's boyfriend. But ain't that nigga married? No, I never heard of this. I never. They heard say that she be marrying like I mean marrying dating married men. I feel like she's been dating Twenty for a long time. But let me tell you why I thought um, this was true. Cause they had mm. showed some pictures on Instagram and stuff like that of, of them being in the same location. Yeah. Or whatever. But I was listening to some song on the radio, 21 Savage came on, he was like, the biggest. And I was like, don't lie to me saying the biggest. I was like, nah, they going together. <laughs> no, when they made Wheelie, I kind of felt like, okay, like maybe. Oh, he was on that song, I forgot. Yeah, and that's, look, that's like the third song, second song. That's her man. But I wonder why they keeping it like low -key. Somebody, she had posted a TikTok of food and somebody said, in a search bar, what's 21 Savage's favorite food? Like, y'all so messy. I but, wonder why they keep it low key, though. I don't know. I mean, I respect that. I feel like you're keep it private. Been... Yeah. Well, that is it for Black People. Love you guys. Mm -mm -mm -mm.